Hello, hello, welcome back. This is Nat Walsh. So today is the 23rd of May and, oops, kicked something underneath my desk. This weekend we had the Pictured Page craft show, COVID permitting, all that sort of stuff. I didn't buy that much, but I wanted to show you what I did buy. These ones we'll have a look at in a minute, which are all sorts of prettiness. Um, oh, I've forgotten something over here, which is the really indulgent thing, but we'll have a look at him in a minute. Okay, so a friend of mine, actually, I didn't buy this, a friend of mine bought this, and it is Icing Paste by Finnebar. So this is Red Umber. Now, can I open it? No, I cannot. Let's cut this baby. Can I do it? Yes. A friend of mine. A friend of mine knew this was going to be my colour. So this was half price. So this is $21.95 normally. But she got it for half price. So let's have a look. I'll have to put some um, press and seal on the top of this. But for now, I still have to do it. Can I open it? Is there a little thing that I can pull? So I hope you all are having, while I sit there and fight with this, plastic foily thing. I hope you all had a great weekend. Ooh. Okay, so this has an extra thing on top. All right, we're just gonna have to cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, now, cut it. Honestly, it was so much fun. I worked yesterday. Why do I see purple? <gasps> okay, I have a brush here. I have a brush here. Let's, because this is just a bit too nice. How, oh. Okay. You will hear one or two of my sons in the background the husband and the very noisy child has uh, I'll put that on I'll put that on the packaging there has gone to mow some lawns can you see that now okay it probably needs a bit of a, a good old mix because it's probably been sitting there for quite some time But even now, I can see that purple coming through. That is awesome. My friend definitely was super nice to me and bought this for me because I was working so. But she was right. This is this this is amaze balls. This is so nice. So that is. I can't stop playing. Can you see, even now, you can see the purple in it. Oh my gosh. It's a bit hard, might be a bit hard on the camera, but I can. It just has that, that you know, when you, that iridescent look sort of thing, when you turn it one way, it looks a bit more greeny, and turn it another way, it looks a different colour. That's sort of what I'm getting a little bit with the light. That is so cool. Anyway. I'm not going to put that back on because I'm going to get a bit of press and seal for this baby and seal him up nice and good. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to clean this up because I need to use this for something else and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my piece of press and seal 
Then pop that over him. Put the lid on. Done. I still can't get over that. Oh, so yummy goodness. Okay, focus, focus, focus. So this was from a shop that was closing down. Um, now, I've got to show you those. Let's do this. This was, got, I bought that from Little Bits in Melbourne, here in Melbourne. This is, so this used Stampendous, obviously, Slim Cling Rubber. So Australian $22.50. But how cool is that? The boss actually thought of me when she saw this and yep, I'm like, yep, yep, I want it, I want it. So you can, you know, do a nice little watercolour and everything else. Have have it plain, have a little something, something, something coming down. All good. I bought some other stuff from Little Bits, which we will get to at the end. Okay. This was a freebie. The guy was super nice and told me to pick out because I bought some paper pads. Now, I haven't seen this, these paper pads before, but Minte, Minte papers? Suntastic. Oh, just wait. Just wait. They're double sided. What does it say on here? That's another language. 250 GSM. The paper contains 24 double sided printed sheets, 4 by 12 design, 2 bonus on the inside covers. So you've got these two as an extra on the back of the cover. Okay. Made in Poland. But yeah, it's a min, minte. So this one's fun. Suntastic. Look at the colours. So pretty. I don't need any more papers. I don't. But one can't help themselves. I'm pretty sure you guys, let's do this this way. You'll be at a upside down but you know not upside down sideways but you'll get over it okay have a look pretty pretty colors so pretty so it looks like oh, you got plain little frames there I just love them they had so many and I saw someone else having the same. We're back into the the next same design. I saw some other people that had them. I just love that. Focus. Um, I didn't actually, honestly, I didn't actually look at the other people. I got these from the place that was next door to us. Um, love them okay this next one fall festival so here in Australia we are in fall so it's a little bit with you, you pumpkins and everything else we don't generally speaking decorate our places for we decorate for Christmas we don't really decorate for spring or fall or Halloween. We're not a big Halloween people here in Australia. Some people are, but I think last year I had one lot of door knockers. So not much at all. It goes back through the same designs so relatively what's what's the word you know me words are hard uh, so we've got the decorative thing and then you've got like a plain uh, 
print as she turns to this page but you know let's have a look at inside covers that's not it so some little frames so I was thinking of these for an album this be really pretty on an album okay these are get rid of that same people um, basic book two and I've got basic book four so this one's neutrals I saw a white did I see another one I know I saw another one but I can't think of what it was um, same thing this is six by eight obviously 240 GSM 24 double-sided paper four designs sorry six designs four lots so these are as I said all neutral based the next one is, I love these ones, but the next one is my all-time favourite. I'll show you that in a sec. I love this. This was in particular, can we see it? I need more light. This one in particular was very pretty. I just shoved my hand in the paint. One sec. Okay. Hands all cleaned up. This one was in particular super nice in the white. So six designs and four lots of cardstock. And as the inside covers have this very rustic paper sort of thing. This one is awesome for an easy men's card but it also gives you some color combinations too that you may not have thought about so the inside of the cover how amazeballs is that my cover is coming off because I was showing it a bit too much so that one's slightly different isn't it sort of yes So pretty. So the purples, and purpley, and then lighter lavender and some browns. But great as just a background for quick and easy cards for, uh, you know, men. Speaking, you know, I have four men in this house, or almost men four manlings and well two manlings two men and if they need a card for one of their mates with this it's super easy to um, make up a card you know put a sentiment on the front of it because you know they're friends they don't always appreciate it okay glaze now I always use a glaze pen. Where is my glaze pen? So I have a glaze pen that I have used for a long time and it's still going strong. It's good. This is indulgent. This I bought this from Catchy Crafts, which they don't really have a shop front anymore, but I really only wanted the black because they can be hard to find, but I splurged, I did splurge. So this obviously has more than just the black. <laughs> so I use this on cards. Do I have one that's nearby that I can show you? I've got one that I can't show you yet. No. I've used it a fair bit, unlike my glaze pen. I've used it a fair bit to um, add a little bit of dimension but you know they can be a bit hard to find here in Australia so I thought stuff it I'm going to get some more so we've got the black which none of them are really marked we've got two whites but this one looks a bit more silvery than the other one 
Yep, it doesn't have. So they're definitely two different colours. So you got more white and a bit more of not as opaque. But I still bought some jelly rolls because I can't help myself. Grey. And they usually have, yeah, a little tip on it that you waxy tip that you can seals it all off and then when you use it you pull that off and then off you go so as I said I've never really had too much of a problem with my glaze pen clogging up and drying up but um, I think jelly rolls do that a little bit more I've had a jelly roll that a uh, white jelly roll that I used and never did so that's why I Sorry, what was it? It was another one. I don't know. It's a pretty blue, another green, and sort of like a rusty red colour. So I'll have to have a look. I'll pull them off. But I honestly, I don't want to pull them out and take off the little bit until I actually want to use them. So I've got all those. These ones, I got these even though I've got the white with that I do like my white gel pen and this has a mixture between the fine the medium and the large the broad so whereas they're glaze pens so the glaze pens will actually leave a little bit of a tiny little bit of dimension Whereas the jelly rolls don't. I don't want to start using him. But my other jelly roll, I well and truly loved it to death. And let's see, this is one I'm really keen to have a look at. It's got a little bit of stuff on the top. So he must have leaked a tiny bit. But anyway. Okay, what I wanted to show you, the last thing that I bought, as I said, I didn't actually buy that much, a shimmer paints. I wanted to get some more delusions, but I, like normal delusions, but I didn't take my list, so, you know. These are the shimmer paints. They're still a bit wet. I've only literally on the back of something else. Can you see the shimmer? Yes, you can. If I bend it a little bit, this blue, there we go. So they're really pretty. So they've changed all the tubs over to these bottles because apparently they were having issues with the them going a wee colour. But I'd honestly already say that I bought these yesterday and these two, especially my post box red, it's thicker than the other ones. Because this one I can hear, you know, moving around. So it's plastic. It's wrapped in plastic. I've done all the other ones, obviously. A little bit of a seal. Did you throw it hit me in the bin? If I can get it off my finger. There we go. Oh. Pop his lid on and off we go. So I'm trying to put the tiniest little bit, but I always put too much. I'm just swim my brush, get my brush wet. Come on, move. Not move, but my brush is parting ways with itself for some reason. So the, they're the shimmer paints. You can sell, like, you know, I mean, these are still a little bit damp, but they're still pretty dry. And this one is dry. This Calypso teal is dry. And you can still see the sh shimmer in that, like the, the metallic. So they don't lose anything as they dry. That's it. So hopefully I'll have a video shortly showing you some bits and pieces with that and get into some painting. I'm not a painter, but you know, 
I don't know, maybe a bit of art journaling or something like that. Anyway, I'll leave that to that. Uh, it's still been 20 minutes, so that's long enough. I will talk to you soon. Take care. See you next time. Bye.